NFL pick them week 10. First game of the week, Thursday night game, Colts versus Titans. I have the Indianapolis Colts. Colts versus Titans. I'm also. Oh, wow. I'm, uh, I'm, going, I'm keeping on my limb. Titans. I'm also going Colts. They have the third ranked. De- they have the third ranked defense in the league in points allowed and first in yards per game. Um, and the Titans, they've been seesawing all year. Hopefully, the Colts get T. Y. Hilton back. I, I'm not yeah. sure on any of these injuries. Yeah. But hopefully, they get T. Y. Hilton. I'm going to go Colts. Titans. Texans versus Browns. That's the next game. I have the, I have the Browns in this game. <laughs> he was hesitating. Ah, uh, Browns. I also have the Browns. I went back and forth on this one, but man, the Texans defense is just putrid. They barely beat the Jaguars with Jake Luton at quarterback, which is an embarrassment. Yo, he, Should yeah, not have I been was, close. I was and the Browns are also potentially getting Nick Chubb back, so I'm going Browns. Washington versus. The Lions. Washington. This is two teams coming off a terrible week. Matt Stafford looked horrible last week, but so did Alex Smith coming in for Kyle Allen. I'm going to go Detroit just because I think that I trust Matt Stafford more to figure it out over over the next week than anybody that the Washington football team is putting in at quarterback. I think Washington steals this game. Alex Smith, outside of those Outside of him being horrible in the clutch yesterday, he actually was pretty good and created a spark for Washington, and I think he gets his first win of the season as a starter against Detroit. Granted, he plays. Who knows if it's Dwayne Haskins or not, but I think it's going to be Alex Smith. Yeah, I think how they about win. Dwayne Haskins got buried there? Buccaneers versus Panthers. No debate here. I have the Buccaneers winning this one. I'm also going Buccaneers. It looks Buccaneers. like Christian McCaffrey is going to be out again next week, so... If you had any hope that the Panthers were going to win that game, I don't nah, think. I'm gonna go because Bucks. they did look really good against the Chiefs, too, with Christian McCaffrey, who game, looked yeah. right back at that elite level. But, you know, I, I just think that the Bucks are going to come back behind Tom Brady, behind Bruce Arians. It's a good leadership system. Another week of practice for Antonio Brown. I think they figure it out. Yeah, they're playing some losers. Next game, Eagles versus Giants. I have the Eagles winning this one. The Giants haven't beaten us since 2016. It's going to continue after the Eagles. Yeah, I got the Eagles too, and I just had to bring up the stat. In Daniel Jones' 21 NFL starts, he's 4-0 against the Washington football team and 0-17 against the I've rest of the league. I've seen that. Where did I see that? I've seen that. I was crying. And since the Bengals game, the Eagles have been good. Even in their losses, they've been really competitive. So I, I think the Eagles are going to win this And we're one getting easy. healthy. That's I like good. to hear. And the Patriots just scored. Did they really? Yeah. What score? 27 26, you pending the extra terrible. point. Next game, Jaguars versus Packers. Who Packers. wins that game? Yeah, I got the Packers too. Pretty easy for it me. Sounds like some pretty easy games. Oh, week. I don't even know who's playing quarterback for the for the Jaguars. Is it going to be Luton again? Whoever it is, I think they'll be It doesn't it matter, goes. really. Bills versus Cardinals. Who wins that game? Bills is hot right now. So I'm going to take the Bills. I'm going Bills too. I. I wanted to pick the Cardinals in this game because I love the Cardinals, but I just think that Josh Allen is going to carry off that performance because you look at the Cardinals' defense last week against the Dolphins, they struggled against Tua, who you know we still don't know what he is. So Josh Allen, who's shown what he could be this season, I think it's going to be another shootout, and Josh Allen is going to be too much to handle. I think the Cardinals win this game. Uh Bills don't have a running game, so I think the Cardinals can try to neutralize their pass more. I'm not sure if where Byron Murphy is. I don't think he even played last week. I know the Cardinals are pretty thin at corner right now, but if they are healthy, and even if they're not, I think I, I think the Cardinals ba- bounce back this game. Next game, Chargers versus Dolphins. I don't even trust the Chargers in any type of game, so I'm going to go with Miami. I think they're rolling right now. I think they'll secure this one. Yeah, I'm going I, with the Dolphins, too. I'm also going Dolphins. The Chargers, it seems like they find new ways to lose yeah. every week. I think it's going to be another shootout. And like we mentioned before, they're 1-6 in, in games decided by 7 or less this season. So if it comes down to it, they're going to find will, a yeah, way to I lose. I will pick the other team all the time. Next game, Broncos versus Raiders. Raiders. I also went Raiders. I I wanted to go Broncos, too. There were a bunch of games that I really wanted to pick the dogs in, but... I picked them last week, and they lost. I don't know. Derek Carr looks so good. I, I feel like I can't pick against them this week. Yeah, I got the Raiders, too. Uh, Drew Locke, he's great in the second half. In the first half, he's pretty... Yeah. Yo, because, they're, because they're playing from behind every week. Mm-hmm. But there's something with him, too. I think he just 
kind of recognizes what the defense is doing in the second half better. It takes some time. Mm-hmm. So I have the Raiders. Next game is the Seahawks versus the Rams. Taking I have a, the Rams in this game. Taking the Hawks. Mm. I'm going Seahawks. And I debated back and forth between this one. But since 2010, uh, which is when Pete Carroll took over, Seahawks are 42-16 and 16 coming off a loss. It's the best winning percentage in the NFL coming off a loss. I think Russ bounces back. He's not going to have as bad of a week as he did last week. And with the with the 49ers banged up, or I'm sorry, with the Rams, uh, you know, not they've been questionable all season long. You know, they've looked great at times and they've looked not great at times. I'm, I'm going Seahawks. I think they figure it, figure it out after a very bad week. Next game, Bengals versus Steelers. I have the Steelers in this one. Steelers. Steelers also. Is that the Monday night game or no? No. I think it's going to be closer than people think, though. No. It depends. The I don't Bengals know. have been competitive Joe all year Burrow, long. Joe Burrow against a great defense and the Ravens look bad. They look bad as a team. I think against the Steelers, it might be the same. Next game, 49ers versus the New Orleans Saints. 49ers are really hurt right now. Who that nation, man? So I'm guessing I'll have the Saints because 49ers are really banged up. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I'll, it's, it's obvious I'm also going Saints to the Niners. Just dealing with way too many injuries and the COVID list, too. They lost all of their receivers to the COVID Yo. list. So. Ravens versus Patriots. Sunday night football, I have the Ravens in this one. Ravens. I also have the Ravens. Then the Monday night football game, the Vikings versus the Bears. I think the Bears neutralized Dalvin Cook, so I'm going to go with the Bears. I go with the Bears too. This is an interesting one because I was going to pick Vikings at first. They're on a two game winning streak. The Bears on a three game losing streak. But you look into it. The Vikings have lost 16 of their last 19 games at Soldier Field. The Kirk Cousins curse. He's 0 <laughs> 9 on Monday Night Football and 0 3 with the Vikings against the Bears. Dalvin Cook has played two of his worst career games against the Bears in the last two seasons. So I'm going Bears. I think they turn it around. And that does it for our NFL pick em week 10. Comment down your picks for the week and the game that you're most looking forward to as well. Whoa. Hey, what's up, guys? You just finished watching a clip of the Pick Aside podcast. My name is Joel Moran. My name is Jack Bartek. My name is River Brown. And we are your hosts for this podcast. We want to thank you guys for watching the clip. Like, subscribe, and comment, and share if you would care to because it helps us grow. And we're trying to make this a full-time thing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting and see you next time.